Hey everyone, this is Rajat from Rain Studios. I'm very excited to announce that we have surpassed 1000 subscribers on our Rain Studios YouTube channel and I'm very thankful to all of you guys for the love and support you have been giving me all along. So in today's video, we are going to further our education about full stack development. Now, security is an essential part of any web application. We have to secure our channels through which the data gets transferred from our server to our users computers or vice versa so what is ssl it's also known as secure socket layer and it has been renamed to transport layer security recently so basically these two are the same thing and it is all about encrypting the data which gets transferred over the wire over the internet let's talk about what is the issue which gets addressed by using ssl so let's suppose this is your laptop and you are connecting to any website's server so let it be example.com and you are trying to connect to the server which is serving the request for the home page of example.com so this can be the channel over which data between the two computers is getting transferred okay but if you are using a non-secure channel anyone over the internet can actually tap your data they can actually record your data the data you are transferring over to example.com server or the data you are getting from example.com server so if you are not employing ssl that data is in an unencrypted form and anyone can have a look at your data also there will be catches and all which will record a log of your data so this is a problem so anyone on the network like there are routers then there are men in the middle so anyone can actually perform a man in the middle attack they can actually transform your data uh, when it is uh, going over the wire so that you get a malformed or changed data so these kind of issue can happen when you are using unencrypted channel so ssl actually encrypts this channel so nobody can actually hear what is getting transferred over this one particular network between your computer and the server located at example.com so since the data is encrypted nobody can actually see what is getting transferred over this one particular channel and that is why we employ ssl let's come to a point of how to configure ssl for your server now it all starts with getting two keys those are private keys and public key so there will be a pair of these two keys now you use these two keys to create a certificate signing request that is also known as csr now once that csr is ready you upload the csr to the certificate authorities now there are certificate authorities which are third parties and browsers do acknowledge the certificates or the ssl certificates provided by these certificate authorities so all of the browsers have this one particular list in which all of the certified or uh, pre-identified certificate authorities are specified so if your site is using a ssl certificate provided by one such authority your browser will get to know that the server is a genuine server and it can actually go on and connect to the server okay so you provide the csr to the certificate authority certificate authority then verifies the ownership of your domain and the data of csr then it issues you a ssl certificate and a root certificate as well that certificate along with the ssl certificate you are going to upload on your server and then you link those ssl certificates to your web server so that it can readily find it when someone tries to connect to that one particular web server okay so that is how you install and configure ssl on your server now once ssl certificate is installed all the subsequent request 
are going to be encrypted so let's have a look at how this whole process of encrypting the channel works so let's suppose this is your web browser and this is the server of example.com so first of all browser sends a request that the server should identify itself then the server sends its SSL certificate along with the key which is the public key we have created in the very first step of configuring SSL on our server so that data is transferred to the web browser now web browser have this list of certificate authorities right so it is going to verify the information provided in the SSL certificate that the certificate is still valid then it is going to create a session key and that session key is encrypted by the web browser using the public key which we received in the step 2. This encrypted data is sent to the server. Then the server decrypts the data using the private key and then it sends an acknowledgement back to the web browser that it has got the session key. Once that happens we are all set for setting up an encrypted channel and this is known as SSL handshake. So once everything is done and all of these four steps are ensured, a channel is established and all the data over this channel is encrypted by the session key. And since both of the parties, I mean the web browser and the server have the session key, they can actually decrypt the data that is how SSL works now this was a bare minimum every web developer should know of course there are certain technicalities about how you actually generate these public and private key pair and how you create and upload SSR or I mean CSR so for all of that there are many articles from DigiCert or other website which you can have a look into I created this video in order to address the issue that uh, most of the people are not aware of what SSL is and what it can actually do and what uh, are the steps that are involved in obtaining the SSL certificate and you know what happens while SSL handshake. So this video I hope in my opinion addressed all of those in case you are looking for how to configure SSL and you are not getting proper help from other articles online maybe try to leave a comment on this video I will try to create a medium post about configuring SSL because when I started configuring SSL for my application I was very confused and then I actually decided that I was gonna uh, record a video about SSL and for some time it did not happen uh, today I got some free time so I recorded this particular video I hope you found it very useful in case uh, you like the content on this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't